welcome to another video in this functional equation which is similar to polynomial equation we want to find the difference between the f of 2 and f of 6 in the above but what is in this function is different from the right hand side but looking at this we can definitely make the right hand side look exactly what is plugged in in the functions and let's see how to do that if you have x to the power 4 plus 1 uh, if 1 raised to the power 4 which is still 1 it is equivalent to x raised to the power of 2 everything is to power 2 from the power of indices and plus 1 raised to the power 2 everything is to the power of 2 uh, don't forget this x is a member of real number and if you consider from identity the sum of two square as if you have a square plus b square these two identity a it has an output which is uh which is given as a plus b everything is to power two minus two a b so we try to expand this so we get the left hand side and by applying it here we have if x square is a and one square is b so hereby we have x square x all raised to power two plus one square all raised to power of two equals two so from this identity x square is a that is x square plus so the b is one square all raised to power of two and here is minus two where a is still x square uh, dot y b is one square then you have this to be x raised to power two plus and one square is still one everything raised to power of two minus two x raised to power two because one square is still one but what we try to expand is x raised to power four plus one raised to power of four and one raised to power of four is still one so since x raised to power 4 plus 1 is equivalent to f of x squared plus 1 so we just try to replace it as f of x squared plus 1 which everything is equivalent to bracket x squared plus 1 raised to power 2 minus 2 x raised to power of 2 but this doesn't look completely what is in this function and we can make this x squared uh, look exactly the same thing as what is in the function as so if i do this manipulation if you take out uh two and um, we have x square plus one uh if i if i subtract two from this so which means if you expand this we get what we have in the previous line so you can pause this video and try to expand so you get the same thing all right so since this is making sense as all what we have in these functions so it has given um, what we have in the right hand side so you don't need two to be x squared plus one because two is a constant all right so if i replace x squared plus one by x we are going to have f of x equals two so since we are dealing with x squared plus one we have x squared minus 2x plus 2 so if we consider this as f of x and what we are asked to calculate for real is f of 2 and f of 6 so since both are member of real number so by changing x with 2 we have 2 raised to the power of 2 minus 2 bracket 2 plus 2 uh, we expand this uh, you, you simplify this we are going to have two why for the second one which is f of six we are going to have six august to power two minus two bracket six plus two and six square is six times six that is 36 
minus 12 plus 2. So by subtracting this and add, so 36 minus 2 first, we are going to have uh, 24 plus 2. And 24 plus 2, that is uh, equivalent to 26. Uh, we can now couple the two together as f of 2 minus f of 6. Everything equals to where f of 2 is 2 and f of 6 is 26. And we are going to have minus 24. So here comes to the solution of the given function above. So either polynomial functions or functional equations. So the works nearly the same way. Thanks for watching. Don't forget the steps I used. Subscribe to this channel.